So my name is Bryn Connolly. I am, oh my pronouns are he, him. I am a co-president of the RMHS GSA. Hi, I'm Ellen, I'm the other co-president. I'm Ellen Richards, I use she, they pronouns. And this is our summer poetry and art event. Welcome. We hope you enjoy. My name is Sophia. Um, I help run We the Youth, and we're gonna get started in just a minute with our um, art. We're just showing whoever um, made the art's gonna come up and describe it and why they made it and um, what they made it with in just a moment. Good afternoon, everyone. How are we doing? Yes. Can we get some claps and some snaps? I just want to thank We Are the Youth Mass for having me out here again for the second year for this summer poetry um, festival, gathering, commiseration, camaraderie, event. Yes, all of the things. Um, my name is Amanda Shea. I am, I, I am a spoken art. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not good at intros for myself, as you can see. Um, <laughs> Um, my name is Amanda Shea. That's Shea like the butter for all my melanated peoples. Please make sure we spell that right. Um, I am a spoken word artist, an educator, a mentor, a radio show personality, a mother of two. Yes, a mother of two. Um, and just, just an artivist. I love art. I think everything that brings us together is rooted within art and vulnerability, and that's how we spread love and light to everyone. So I'm just honored to be gathered here with you all today. I'm gonna do one piece for you all, and then I'm gonna get into our lineup. That's okay? Everybody cool? Everybody feeling good? Feeling great? Yes? I love the claps. So as I said, I'm a spoken word artist, and spoken word artists are super dramatic. Like we have to come off of the mic stand. That's just how we. It's just how we roll. Um, my the piece I'm gonna do today is called Resilience. I think um, this piece is dedicated to all of my Black and Brown people who struggle with having to be resilient all the time. And since we're in Reading, no better place, right? No many men. Many 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 men. Wish death upon me, have mercy on me. The saying goes, when the tough get going, the going get tough. Must have not have met my mother. The scars she bears are invisible. Only those with the third eye could see. You see, her body is strong, agile, but weakened by her experiences. Black women are to only be strong. No complaints, no check-ins, only check-ups to ensure the body is intact. Heavy the head who wears the crown, but I see it slipping. Weight on her shoulder, she carries worlds around. We simply orbit in her universe, even when she's lost in her own space. But who, who will carry her burdens? I mean, her anger, her depression, her anxiety, her bipolar, her wallet. She don't need no partner, but society's price tags tells her different stories. Fairy tales unbeknownst to her for. She's a dollar and a dream mentality. Don't worry, I got this swag. I can do bad all by myself. No two cents to rub together, but she rubbed out meals. Who will nourish her soul? It's tired been beaten, but not just by life, by family who cast her away. Didn't want to help her rewrite her wrongs, running away from generational trauma. She's out of breath. Panic attacks her nervous system. Like a baby she births, she self soothes. Resilient, black and brown women, all women overcome so many obstacles. And when asked, how are you? They reply, my mother replies. I reply, I'm fine. Thank y'all. I love the snaps. The, the poetry goers know exactly what to do. I see you snapping over there. I would love to bring up our next artist um, who will be introducing their art, Maya. Um, so I'm doing this for my friend Maya who wasn't able to be here today, but I still wanted to show off her art. Um, 
you can come by and look at it afterwards. Um, but she did four different things. I'm going to go get the fourth one and show you. So the first one up here is a drawing um, inspired by a lack of color by Death Cab for Cutie. Um, it's made with pen and colored pencils. Um, and then this one over here with the wings is a drawing called Flightless Birds made with pen. Um, and this uh, watercolor painting is inspired by um, just boating and during nighttime and was made with brush markers and pen. Um, I just wanted to show her awesome art because she wasn't able to be here today. Um, and then this painting is a portrait of Tyler Joseph, um, who was a singer that she likes, made with brush markers and colored pencils. Uh, if you want to just come over and look at it afterwards, that'd be great. So we're going to join. Everybody, please give it up for Maya. Even though Maya was not able to be here, the beautiful art on this table, please walk away with something and support. Up next, we're going to have Maria's art descriptions and Maria's art. So please give a round of applause for Maria, y'all. Uh, hi, I'm Maria, Maria. And uh, this is a watercolor painting I did of the Boston skyline uh, in autumn. And uh, well, that's, re that's really all it is. But uh, if you want to come look at it, then that'd be really nice. Thank you. Please give another round of applause for Maria. That painting is absolutely beautiful. Ellen, is Ellen here? Yes, Ellen. Y'all give it up for Ellen while we have a skip ready. This is a protest sign I made that I take to all the protests I go to because I feel like it applies to pretty much everything. Like you have to always keep moving and like allyship is a verb and you have to keep making change through action and not stop. And then my second piece is a sketch of a pop singer from the 60s named Leslie Gore, who came out as a lesbian later in her life. A lot of her songs are charting again, so I just thought I would contribute that. Thank you so much, Ellen. That's absolutely beautiful. And I didn't know who that was or what they did, so thank you so much for that description. Are we ready for, hi, y'all give it up. Please, a round of applause for Alex. I'm sorry, Ace, Ace. So, so the song I chose is um, a song called, a song called This Side of Paradise. Uh, it was a song that I uh, originally played to and for a girlfriend I knew, but she was really important to me and that's kind of why I chose it to sing today, you know because it was important to me at one point. Anyway, it's by Coyote Theory. Ask me why my heart's inside my throat. I've never been in love, I've been alone. Feel like I've been living life asleep. Love's so strong it makes me feel so weak Are you lonely? Our fingers dancing when they meet You seem so lonely Are you lonely? I'll be the only dream you seek So if you're lonely, no need to show me If you're lonely, come be Lonely <clears throat> Passion is crashing as we speak You seem so lonely Are you lonely? You're the ground my feet won't reach So if you're lonely Darling, you're glowing If you're lonely, come be lonely Underneath the pale moon Cells and fairest heights. I'll be yours if you'll be mine. Cause
Cause I'm lonely, I'm so lonely If you hold me, I'll be your only Are you lonely? Our fingers dancing when they meet You seem so lonely, are you lonely? I'll be the only dream you seek So if you're lonely, no need to show me If you're lonely, come be lonely with me Are you lonely? Passion is crashing as we speak You seem so lonely, are you lonely? You're the ground my feet won't reach So if you're lonely, darling, you're glowing If you're lonely, come be lonely with me Please give it up one more time for Ace! Up next, we have Bryn. Please welcome Bryn. Uh, so I brought two oil pastel uh, drawings. The first one was actually my first oil pastel painting. Um, so I liked the idea of like colors and melting. So it's just a portrait of a woman. And the other one, I wanted to kind of show the freedom that comes with being able to love openly. So there's two men in a field with like an open sky. So yeah. <laughs> Please give another round of applause for Bryn. We have up next Astrid's arts description. So please give it up for Astrid. Hi there. Um, so I brought many things and you can go over to that table and check it out. But here are two pieces of art that I have created and um, I was inspired by colors and abstractness and the like imperfection of nature and youth and all that sort of thing. So um, yeah, go check it out. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, I'm just like inspired. Um, I've been walking around since I got here and just looking at all of the art. Um, I also saw the other two paintings, Astrid, that you had um, over there at the table. And then Bryn, I also saw the other two paintings that you had in the back. And I'm just, I'm just it's super impressed. Like all of this has been coordinated, curated, marketed, um, social media promo, all by the youth that you see here today. And a lot of the artists that you see, see their art here for as well. So I just want y'all to give it up for them one more time. And last but certainly not least, I saw you trying to run. <laughs> we have Sophia, and Sophia is going to do some poetry for us. So please get the snaps together for Sophia. OK, um, so I did not have time to write anything because also I don't know how to write poetry. But um, I'm going to read something that I found last year. Um, yeah, I haven't read it out loud ever because I found it yesterday. Like, why well, printed it out yesterday? Okay, um, it's called A Poem for Pulse by Jameson Fitzpatrick. Last night I went to a gay bar with a man I love a little. After dinner we had a drink. We sat in the far back of the big backyard and he asked, what will, you do, what will we do when this place closes? I don't think it's going anywhere time, any time soon, I said. Though the crowd was slow for a Sunday and he said, yes, but one day, where will we go? We walked, he walked me the half block home and kissed me goodnight on my stoop. Properly, not too quick, close enough, our stomachs pressed together in a second sort of kiss. I live next to a bar that's not a gay bar. We just call those bars, I guess. Because it's popular and because I live on a busy street. There aren't as always people who aren't queer. There are always people who aren't queer people on the sidewalk on weekend nights. Just people, I guess. They were there last night. As I kissed this man, I was aware of them watching and of myself wondering whether or not they were just but I didn't let myself feel scared. I kissed him, exactly as I wanted to and as I would have without an audience, because I decided many years ago to refuse this fear, an act of resistance. 
I left the idea of hate out on the stoop and went inside to sleep early and drunk and happy. While I slept, a man went to a gay club with two guns and killed 45 people. Today, in an interview, his father had said he had been disturbed recently by the sight of two men kissing. What a strange power to be cursed with, for the proof of men's desire to move men to violence. What's a single kiss? I've had kisses no one has ever known about, so many kisses without confidence, consequence. But there is a place you can't outrun. Whoever you are, there will be a time when, it might be a bullet suddenly, the sound of it, many, one man, two guns, fifty dead, two men kissing last night. I can't get away from, imagining it, them, the people there to dance and laugh and drink, who didn't believe they'd die, who couldn't have. How else can you have a good time? How else can you live? There must have been two men kissing for the first time last night and for the last, and two women too, and the two people who were neither. Brown people, which cannot be a coincidence in this country, which is a racist country, which is gun country. Today I'm thinking of the Bernie Boston photograph, Flower Power, of the Vietnam protester placing carnations in the rifles of the National Guard and wishing for a gesture as queer and simple. The protester in the photo was gay, you know. He went by hibiscus and died at the age of, uh, died of AIDS, which I am also thinking today because the government's response to AIDS was a hate crime. Now we have a president who names us, the big and imperfectly lettered, and here we are getting kissed on stoops, getting married, some of us, and some of us getting killed. We must love one another whether or not we die. Love can't block a bullet, but neither can it be shot down. And love is, for the most part, what makes us. In Orlando and in Brooklyn and in Kabul, we will be everywhere, always. There's n n nowhere else for us or you to go. Anywhere you run in the world, love will be there to greet you. Around any corner, there might be two men kissing. And that's it. What a powerful piece. Thank you so much, Sophia, for reading that piece. Can we give it up one more time for Sophia? That concludes our performance piece of this event today, but you all are more than welcome to congregate. Please take a look at the t art tables that you have on the left and the right of us. Please talk to some of the artists. Let them know what you were inspired by, what touched them, all of the things. Please just spread love and light today. I want to thank all of the artists again. I'm going to read all of your names off. Maya's Art, Sophia, Maria, Ace, Ellen, Bryn, Astrid, thank you so much for just coming here today and showing your beautiful artwork and sharing yourselves with everybody here. Thank you so much for having me. We are the youth. I would love to come back again next year as well. Keep this thing going because it is super important for all of us to congregate and spread love, light, and peace. Thank you all for having me. My name's Amanda Shea, and I'll see y'all soon.